quiet down here without Baby Doll. Oh, she's just running and singing up top like she's always wanted. I know you don't like anything and you're not wild about the attachments we're making here, but it's Baby Doll's job to spin around in circles and laugh till her sides hurt and have real, genuine fun making friends. If we didn't need that, no, if the girl didn't need that, Baby Doll wouldn't exist. Kids fight, Jane. And when that happens, whose side do you think Dorothy's own fucking father is gonna choose? You think Baby Doll can handle that? I'm sorry, baby doll. She was so tired from such a fun day with you, she fell asleep in my room. And she really does need her rest. Maybe you'd like to take a little nap, too. I'm not tired, I want to oh. play! Oh, you know I adore you, baby doll. But I really think I'm getting a little old and creaky for play. Mm -hmm. Fine. I certainly hope everyone's being polite and good to the new friends we've made. I'd be very disappointed if someone decided to be a sour little girl. You want me to install cyborg technology in you. That's the pitch. I can tell you're a man who likes a challenge. What's a bigger challenge than this guy? You told him it was a good idea. I told him nobody gets anything if they don't ask. Come on. Just imagine digging through the mess Niles made, then building a better me, and then shoving it in Niles' face. Man, you do not break your stride. My tech is cutting edge. Niles' tech isn't even tech. It's spare parts. They're incompatible, like trying to connect an iPhone to a telegraph. But if anyone could connect those two, it's you! I mean, just look at what you've done with Vic. You're a genius! Look, Dad. I'm sorry for what has happened to you. I truly am. But what I did for Victor was surgery. What Niles did to you, manslaughter at best. He's a criminal. If I help him do anything to you, that would make me an accessory. I cannot do that. What the fuck? Uh. 